Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Aquarius. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Alright, so let's get into this Aquarius. Aquarius, what's going on? With Aquarius this week. What's going on with Aquarius this week, Lord God? What's the Aquarius? Okay. Your card wanted to jump out. Star card and the Five of Wands. All right. So um, you could be in the spotlight, the limelight here. Um, you could be getting a lot of uh, attention, eyes on you. Um, someone could also be wanting your forgiveness. Um, they want you treat them with compassion when you speak with them when you talk to them someone wants to be intimate with you someone misses your body they like your body um they miss the sex they miss the intimate talks um they miss the fact that um you do have a mysterious nature about yourself um, someone definitely wants the connection back they want to reconcile they want to have reunion here they feel like being with you is on the right path or they're, they're in the right path. They're, they feel like something about you being their saint and grace. You are their star. Um, you're the person that they look up to or look on to. Or they get information from. The five of wands. Someone could be um, conflicted about uh, coming towards you. There's competing goals here. Um, you and another person don't have the same goals. You don't want the same outcome. So there is the competition. There's also been a little friskiness, maybe even with you or the other person. This person has been feeling frisky in terms of you. And when they think about you, they think about, you know, the flirtatious, frisky vibe. And um, they think about, you know, the connection, the love affair, um, the romance. Maybe even a little bit of the drama here with the Five of Wands. Um, this person want to give you some attention or they want to fight for what they think that they want to fight for what they want with you okay it's not exactly sure that you want the same thing okay um, this also may be somebody who likes to have um, people fight over them or fight for them this could be you Aquarius it could be the other person someone else also fighting or holding back or fighting um, emotions or their passions for you. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. Someone wants the opportunity um, to grow with you, to grow something with you, the opportunity to sit before you um, and tell you. Some of you have competing goals here. Some of you got your hands in different pots in terms of how to bring in income. You might need to, something is in op direct opposition with the other. Um, it says that your life is is coming to self-sustaining um, energy. Also, a lot of busyness. Um, the devil card. Somebody is definitely wanting to have sex with you. They want to consummate the relationship if they haven't already. Or they want to get back with you and this is how they want to have a reunion with you. They desire you sexually. This is a new sexual opportunity or they want it to be presented to them. It doesn't feel like this is a new person, but it could be a new person. It could be an old person wanting the opportunity to come back to you. Somebody feels like you get a lot of offers um, for building together, having sex, having sexual connections. Some of you are tarot card readers or in the esoteric community. Opportunity is here for you if you don't see it. Just keep at it. Keep looking. Your psychological development is very high. Therefore, you can develop yourself in all other areas. It's, it's not like you, you're not seeing. Your psychological development is high. Therefore, you know your potential in all these other areas. You understand on a different level. Always Aquarius. Why are you following the devil? You got 
the opportunity to have a new sexual encounter with someone who says, um, uh, make sure you don't lead yourself down a road of entrapment, of being stuck tied down the page of swords. Somebody is obsessed with you, obsessed in, uh, with the idea of you, the idea of having you. They stalk you, they spy on you. Um, they look at tarot card readings, they ask about you. They are curious about you. There's a bit of unknowing. There's unrest too here. Someone doesn't know if you are giving your energy, effort, time to something or someone else. It looks like you have withdrawn and just put your energy into yourself, into your business. Therefore, um, somebody is at a place of displacement. The power dynamic is off. You're no longer giving your force, your energy to this person. Therefore, they feel powerless. Someone could be just addicted to your power, your sex, your energy. Yeah, they're, they're sexual. They're addicted to your sex here. What's the um, advice for Aquarius here? Advice for Aquarius. The Nine of Cups, the Six of Wands, very nice. Um, so go after whatever it is you're hoping for, you're wishing for. Um, your hopes and your dreams can definitely come true right now with the Ace of Pentacles. It says that you're seeing that your hopes, your dreams can come true, that your aspirations could be fulfilled, that manifestation is true, is real, is showing up in your life. It says keep at whatever it is you're doing emotionally. Um, I don't know, being by yourself with the Nine of Cups brings you emotional fulfillment, uh, emotional stability. Bet on you, choose you with the Six of Wands. Um, it looks like you extracted yourself from the competition, from the fight of, from fighting for what you really wanted. You wanted the opportunity. Someone put you in a third party situation, they put you in a bad situation where the odds were against you, where you were giving your force, your effort to something that was just not working. It says you have extracted yourself from that and now you're in the six of wands, you're walking off, strutting your stuff, they're seeing you successful. You won the battle, not the war, but definitely the battle here. Um, you might have even, you know, scathed yourself from some cheating scandal that someone was trying to bring you apart, make you be a part of. You might have just kind of like skirted around that or left that connection. What's the advice for the Aquarius? There will be help and success in your business too. The King of Swords. Now be strategic, be methodical. You do have high standards, not just for other people, but for yourself, too. You are the formidable opponent. It says be wise, be caring in all things that you do. It says that you are dedicated to the outcome. Okay? Um, it says that uh, the King of Swords, you will um, achieve very great things because you're strategic. Okay? Because you have strategy. You also... Um, you get direct messages from um, source, power, the creator, whatever you believe in. You understand greatly that true power comes from the divine. You take your ideals and you make sure that you use them wisely. Mm -hmm. Advice, wow, the king of wands. Mm -hmm. And the Prince of Wands. Okay, so um, all right. Um, this is like the Cancer reader. With these two want these two kings here. So some of you, you could be engaged in same-sex relationships. If you are not engaged in same-sex relationships, you and your person are coming up in that kingly energy, okay? So therefore, there's no concession being made. There's no conceding. There's no waving the white flag. There's no coming to you or I'm coming or them coming to you or you going to them. 
Um, the both of you are at your respective corners and no one is speaking because the both feel as if you should come to me. Well, no, no, you should come to me. Well, no, you first. Um, if we did live in a, you know, monarch or, or in a, um, where there were still kings and queens, when have you ever seen a king willingly, voluntarily bow to another king? It doesn't happen. They, they duel, they fight, they, there's a war. So therefore, the both of you coming up in that king energy, you're mirroring each other, and you also are coming up in that energy of, I'm not conceding to you, and then the other person say, I'm not conceding to you. So it's, it's an energy of just being at your respective corners. It says that um, you're both lying to yourselves about not having feelings for the other person. Um, or you're trying to suppress some thoughts and feelings here also. Um, you're not trying to come into full confidence or knowledge of how you feel about this person. It's easier to suppress and push away. Um, to say that we're just too different when you're really the same because you're both coming up as two kings. It looks like somebody needs to ground this energy in uh, pages or earth of of fire so page of one so it looks like somebody needs to reach out there will be someone reaching out when someone really comes into um understanding their emotions um releasing or relinquishing that fear there's fear-based actions and their thoughts those lies that you tell yourself and maybe even other people yeah it looks like someone is going to come to the other, um, may, there could be someone giving a fun, flirty message, wanting to explore how far they can get, and the other person will be met with the Knight of Swords, um, confrontation, um, an intellectual duel, <laughs> a battle of wits. This person will be. You know, they know what they're talking about. They don't have a plan. They do know what they're talking about. So it looks like um, there's somebody who wants you back. They don't know how to get you back. They don't know how to come to you. Um, they also are acting in that energy of um, ego and feeling like they're stable all by themselves and so are you even if this is just a coming back together to um, talk it out and move on uh, that could happen too it could be coming back together and we're getting back together Someone is desiring to talk to you while the, maybe the other person, or this is you, Aquarius, is, is being very uh, not emotional, showing no emotion. What is the monology card here? Meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. So there could be some new energy. We got that moon card that comes around the next new moon. This could have been a cyclical relationship too. There's a lot of unknown. Somebody didn't speak how they felt. They didn't they didn't also they didn't really show it. They didn't show it, they didn't speak it. There's so much unknown here to where somebody had to guesstimate or they had to they had to assume and then their assumptions sometimes they were wrong. There's also been suppression, somebody suppressing their their emotions, their thoughts in terms of the other person. This is you, this is the other person. This is somebody's last ditch effort to make this right. Meditate and contemplate because there's a lot of emotions. There's some emotions running high for you, the other person also. Somebody's just not able to articulate 
their emotions. They don't know how to allow themselves to be taken in their emotions. I don't know. What is this? Yeah, face your fear. They may be holding you back. The situation is being healed. Yeah. It's time to surrender to the divine. Avoid being deceptive or willingly deceived. Yeah. Use your feelings to guide you. Logic won't work right now. Wow, these cards are on the money. So, you know, Pisces is the sign of the unconscious. You know, it, its energy is watery. It's deep. It is the moon altogether. It could be confusion and disappointment right now. Um... This could be somebody's last ditch effort to make their dream come true. If they don't get it right this time, it's time to move on. It's time to just release it, relinquish it, let it go. Don't allow yourself to be willingly deceived or don't deceive anyone else. And don't really see any deceptive cards. I see the moon here. Of course, it could be about deception, but it also could be about fears, as we just read in the monology card. Somebody is just... Um, they're very fearful. Maybe we should extend this reading in terms of what the Aquarius should do and then what the other person should do. So let's go ahead and extend this reading because it seems as if um, nobody's budging. No one's budging right now. No one's moving. Uh, no action is being taken. No one's talking. Lots of unexpressed emotions. Okay? Um, let's see what Aquarius should do. What should Aquarius do? What's the advice for Aquarius in this connection? Okay. Interesting. Alright. And what is the advice for Aquarius person? What's the advice for Aquarius person? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Um, well, your person got the same advice they got here in the first reading, the page of wands. They need to reach out. They're going to give you some fun, flirty message. I don't think they're going to get fun and flirty back. But fun and flirty is coming towards you. Page of Wands. What is that? What is uh, Page of Wands? Well, well, we'll get a timeline in the extended reading. I think the Page of Wands. I know the Page of Swords is 1 to 11 days. Not sure what the page of wands is, but we will get that timeline in the extended reading. Thank you, Aquarius, for being here. I hope that you took something from the reading. If you did not, um, why did I say if you did not? If you took something from the reading, you can always donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. You could text a question or two to the number below if you have a question you want answered via the tarot, you can also go over to the website, book your reading there. Will this person reach out to me? Why aren't they talking to me? Should I reach out to them? Should I just really let this go? What's the best advice from spirit? Questions like that are good. They get the best answers. All right, Aquarius, much love to you. Many blessings. Take care.